Today is an extremely important day. The date is June 8th of 2023. Only four days after breaking news revealed that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is willing to offer Ripple a settlement within regards to the Ripple SEC lawsuit, but failing to reveal any of the dates or the conditions to the public. But why specifically June 8th is important is because a meeting that is going to be happening discussing settlement, and this has made, been made public by the government itself, citing on their SEC.government website a closed meeting happening on June 8th of 2023 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It also goes into more detail about this exact meeting and the topics of discussion. As you guys can see, here is the exact article, citing the Sunshine Act Narrative Securities and Exchange Commission meeting, the time and date as 2 p.m. on Thursday, June 8th of 2023. The meeting will be held remotely or at their headquarters. Also citing this is a closed meeting and the subject matters of this closed meeting consists of four main topics, each with a direct link to the Ripple SC lawsuit and settlement within regards to the exact case. The subject matters will be institution and settlement of injunctive actions, institution and settlement of administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, and other matters related to examinations and enforcement proceedings. In addition to all this crazy events happening on June 8th of 2023, there's more events that are up and coming. In fact, on June 14th, a source has cited that settlement has already been reached between Ripple and the SEC, and that full details within regard to this settlement are going to be released on June 14th of 2023. This is great if it were to actually happen because it emphasizes two main things. First off, that now there will be official clarity for the market. Secondly, and most important, XRP will be deemed the only cryptocurrency in the United States of America to actually be a cryptocurrency. And the impact that will have on XRP's price will be discussed later on in the video. Keep in mind, if we were to link all the information and in just the last couple minutes of this start of the video, we would already understand that settlement is imminent. In fact, looking at the news right here within regards to just the SEC internal meeting alone discussing settlement proved to us that there must be some sort of discussions between Ripple and the SEC. But really, we are only getting started. Within this video, you're going to find multiple sources all saying the exact same thing that settlement is about to happen before June 14th of 2023. We're going to list every single one of them, show you guys the proof, and then jump into the price of XRP upon actual completion of the settlement. But before I do that, I want to ask that you guys please hit that subscribe button because it takes a really long time to make these straightforward analysis videos. It takes a long time to research and then provide it to you in the best possible manner. Hit the like button as well because it supports me and share this video to your friends and family. And as always, don't forget to drop a comment down below because I'll be reading and responding to all of your comments. Now that all that has been said, let's get right back to the video. In fact, just two days after this prominent analyst HODL account tweeted that the United States of America has offered to settle with Ripple, we got another saying that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has in fact officially agreed to settle the lawsuit with Ripple and that the dating conditions are going to be released to public on June 14th of 2023. This is just one of many other accounts and prominent analysts. In fact, here is Zach Rector, somebody well known across the entire crypto space and most importantly XRP, saying that Ripple is about to settle 100%. To top it all off, BitBoy, which is the biggest crypto channel on the interweb, also retweeted it and agreed to Ripple being a about to settle with the SEC. On top of all that, back in January 19th of 2023, Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO, said an XRP lawsuit will be resolved by June of 2023, which is the exact same month as we are currently in, to which everybody is citing settlement. And on top of all of that, just a couple weeks ago on May 25th of 2023, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse reiterated that stance, citing that judgment on the SEC's XRP lawsuit will come in weeks and not months, reaffirming that June date of the ending of the lawsuit or settlement. All this again reaffirms that settlement is about to happen and it makes no sense to happen on the date of June 14th, 2023. But before we jump into the price of XRP, which I know all you guys are waiting for, let us take on a quick break. Now, before we move further into this video, if you're trying to make yourself a ton of XRP by staking it, you have to use Dexpool, which is linked in the description. Now, I do want to say that they just sponsored this video, but they are actually one of the greatest platforms that I personally use to stake my XRP, and I've been staking with them for some time. Now, keep in mind, they give you your profits every single eight hours and have over $386 million in total protocol 
liquidity and that's increasing on a daily basis. They also have over 383 pairs and feature all of the top cryptocurrencies including some of these smaller ones as well so you can basically stake any cryptocurrency that you hold. And to top it off for you guys they're doing a 100x RP liquidity bonus in which you get a 10 day liquidity bonus. The offer is limited and make sure you guys take advantage of this. Again the link is down in the description. They have a bunch of options like top up, withdraw, and view your transactions and it is extremely simple to do all of this and you can actually complete it in only a few clicks. I personally have not only been able to withdraw my profits but also my initial investment and they allow you to unlock your liquidity at any point in time and reap the rewards still that you have gained so you basically don't lose. That being said make sure you guys do use the link in the description and let's get right back into the video. All right. So we've talked about settlement, we've shown you that it's going to happen based on prominent analyst predictions. What is the price of XRP going to be once settlement actually happens? This part of the video is dedicated to exactly that, in which we're going to show you multiple predictions, analyze them for you using our economic and accounting background, and then provide you with the price prediction that we believe is most logical and is most likely going to happen based on, again, my analysis. That being said, let's start off with this tweet right here. It states that once settlement is announced, the price of XRP will soar to its all-time high. Looking at the price of all-time high for XRP, that price is around $3.84 USD. But that's not all. It states that hours later, exchanges will begin to realize the XRP, and then after some chart movement, we are going to see XRP settle around the $650 to $1,000 range. Once Ripple starts announcing US-based customers and their products go live, along with central banks go live with XRP, we are going to see a $10,000 per XRP price prediction. Now, this prediction varies because Moochie G says if XRP wins the case, the chance of price suddenly jumping to $5 to $10 are small and predicts a significantly less price per XRP upon settlement completion. And then of course you're going to have the massive price prediction to which XRP will be $965 per coin upon settlement of the Ripple lawsuit. So which one of these many price predictions will actually XRP be? Well, I personally believe none of the predictions that were stated in these tweets were correct. Even though ahead and click the like button because I would really wish for XRP to be $965 upon settlement instantly. Rather, a more logical price would be $13.59. Now, I personally believe XRP will settle at around $7 to $13 upon completion of the ST lawsuit, meaning whether it's a win or a settlement for Ripple, we are looking at a price at around that range upon the announcement of a settlement. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't include any of XRP's relistings, if Ripple goes public, if Ripple partners with many other banks, and of course, if Ripple starts to integrate XRP as part of their cross-border system or a part of any central bank or central bank digital currency, of course. Because anything other than the, an announcement of settlement or an announcement of win for Ripple is going to shock the price of XRP to way past that $13 mark. In fact, it's clearly stated in the tweet that is right in front of you, saying that $157.29 is the projected price of XRP if it were to be relisted on all exchanges. And again, this makes a lot of sense. Giving XRP access to be viable across the globe by it being relisted on all exchanges opens up new markets, meaning new money flows going into the coin, meaning the price is going to be increasing. It also makes sense because supply and demand raises the price. If there's more demand than people selling, then automatically the price has to increase. Then think about all the bank partnerships that Ripple is going to partner with, meaning those banks are going to have to acquire XRP to be able to have liquidity and use their actual Ripple service. If Ripple goes public and doesn't IPO, you're going to have so many investors trying to invest into their crucial part of Ripple system, which is XRP. So you're going to have more people buying into XRP. And then of course, if a global CBDC integration actually happens, then you're need the central bank to hold on to XRP to once again be able to actually complete transactions using the Ripple Net system. This of course excludes the fact that Ripple is themselves is going to be forced to buy back the XRP that is in circulation to be able to allow any of the institutions that partner with them to be able to use their system. Because again, like we stated in multiple videos, the biggest aspect of the Ripple Net system is XRP. Without XRP, the entire Ripple Net system would collapse and thus Ripple is fighting so hard to make sure XRP is not deemed a security. All of that being said, I want to just 
quickly mention a couple price predictions that were recently talked about. Like a prominent analyst known as Vilha Capital citing an estimate of $22,968 per XRP. All these numbers are logical based on different events. And I've made a video going into more detail about this price prediction and this is my previous one. But generally guys, talking about high prices like five, six digit XRPs are possible and will happen. It's a matter of time as to when it will happen. Specifically, if you believe in the technology, you understand that when you buy into XRP, you're buying into something that is literally going to be worth tons of thousands of dollars, possibly even $100,000 in the future based on the technology it holds. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because it takes a really long time to make these content because I have to do the research and give it to you guys in the most straightforward and simple way. So a quick subscription would do me well. Hit the like button, share this video, and of course, follow me on my social media platforms, which will all be linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.